Greetings everyone, Klaprof here. So uh, here's the thing. <laughs> you might wondering what's happening. So uh, we have a very special video here by Aaron Divis. We had clashed with him in the past. So uh, now he actually removed, removed his comments. There were a lot of his comments here on this particular video. So the 14th video from our, from our permadeath run. He had a ton of comments here. And he actually deleted all the comments. I don't know why. That's just weird. Why would you delete your own comments? But okay, so putting all that aside, um, he actually made a video about me called "Proof About Cloud Proof." That's weird. That's <laughs> that's a weird name, given that my name has proof in it. Okay, so uh, yeah, he did make this video, and this video was recommended to me by one of you. I got him direct message from one of you with the link to this video and I was really surprised when I watched it. So <laughs> I actually commented on his video like I said that uh, we're gonna have a uh, reply. So there's the reply on our channel about his video. This is this is gonna be super fun. So um, basically this guy from his first comments on uh, on my channel, his only purpose was to say that I'm a cheater that it's impossible to play Valheim on Hardcore like I did. He had no suggestions for me, but only hateful, spiteful, and accusatory words. But I'm curious to see what, say, what he's gonna say in this video, so uh, let's go through it together. Also, I've prepared a lot of tabs up there, as you can see, with all the different videos that he's accusing me of cheating. And we're gonna analyze that briefly in here, so this is gonna be a bit fun. The record his recording is super super um well uh I don't I can't I don't can't I don't know turn up the volume for it. It's maxed out on my behalf. He recorded um with low volume, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna try and do something in post production if I can, but I don't think so. We'll see. I'm not that good at <laughs> editing sound. Right, so um Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's go, let's take on this uh accusatory video and see what comes out of, out of this. So let's go. Hey, um, I'm going to try to do a quick video here talking about uh, Cloud Proof and his permadeath series. Um, I'm just going to call him Klaus. I think that's what his one of his characters. Name is. Yeah, that's my, um, one of my characters is Klaus. Very obvious that he's cheating in the permadeath series. Uh, how is it obvious now? Uh, I'm curious. In some ways where it's he's I, I don't know that I can say definitively that he's like died and then reverted the game state or something like that. Okay, let me pause you quickly right here. Died and reverted the game state? I mean, that is possible, but not without leaving any trace of cheating. So there are several bugs and inconsistencies that happen if somebody tries to revert the game state by going back to an older save. You can totally do that. Some items will get doubled up, also will be impossible without cutting the videos and skip large chunks of it, because you have to perfectly sync even the rested buff timer, the time of day, all the elements around you that might have reset during that time, also um, certain monsters or dropped items. So it's, it's basically impossible to cheat without leaving any trace behind. He's actually saying that he found um, like proof about me cheating, so proof of me leaving all these uh, crumbs behind, like Hansel and Gretel. So let's see them exactly, because I'm really curious about uh, um, what is going on about here. Surprise me at this point, but anyways, there's there's three like really egregious examples of mm. cheating. Okay. Cover. Um, and so first I'm gonna say, spoiler warning, um, you're warned. Uh, he's doing this like mapless, and so I'm loaded up in his. I'm not worried about the over here. map. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry, mate. You've not ruined anything. Everything from I mean, anything from me. <laughs> like you don't want spoilers, or it's fine. Go on, go on. And you're like, no, oh, you screwed up my series. Cause now I've seen the map, and like, okay. No, you haven't screwed up my series. You can't do that, mate. <laughs> if you're concerned about that. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're talking about. Um, as the example that he showed in his video, okay, it's like we're at motor and he dies in the video. Like 
he it's <laughs> it's hilarious because you can see comments where like oh well you you died but that's mm. fine I I think you can you can still go or whatever it's it's hilarious and he's like no no I didn't die I didn't die what if I died why didn't I re- why didn't I respawn yeah um anyways it's hilarious so you're not gonna reply oh, to that one <laughs> okay and he cheats to not die how by escaping as soon as he got <laughs> down to zero. okay so let's get something straight first I told you already like to everyone else that I never imposed any rules at the start of this series on myself like hey in this series I won't press the escape button to save my life or I won't log out to cancel a poison or a fire effect that might kill me I never imposed this type of rules on myself so if I quit or log out the game it happened to me so many times while I'm playing Valheim just to cancel a poison effect that would have, kill- would have killed me I don't think that's a cheat or an exploit since it's the buttons right there if the developers make the game like impossible to log out <laughs> fine <laughs> I'll take it but until we have the logout button and the escape button we're just gonna use them how is the escape button an exploit if you pause the game in your dark souls run that does that mean that you cheated come on that's a bit that's a bit uh that's a bit over the edge but yeah second second of all I've uh, showed what happened there frame by frame frame by frame and it's uh, obvious that I've pressed the escape button before the land the wolf landed his final bite on me so the bite that you see on the screen, let's go here, um, wasn't even recorded by the game engine. Right here, you're gonna see. So this is this is the frame, right? Bam, bam, frame, frame. And then the third frame is the one with the bite. So the, the escape button was already pressed when the bite landed, right? So if the game engine didn't record my death, right? <laughs> so it didn't accept my death. Um, why would I accept that I died? Since the game engine didn't accept that I died. And when I logged back in, I was at, uh, at full health. Right, so the coding, the coding of the game is really well done here, because had I pressed the escape button one frame later, it would have been already too late. Thirdly, I've asked the community for a vote. Let me show you right here, quickly. Because I don't have that one opened up. Right here, we're just going to go to it. So... Um, yeah, we still have the vote in here somewhere. It's really back. There we go. There you go. This is the one. So, uh, because, like I said, because I'm even thinking to press the escape button. Right, so I ask everyone uh, if I should keep going with this. Right? And 80% of you said, yeah, keep going. It's fine. Keep playing. We want to see more. If I stopped here, 80%, <laughs> I would have made 20% happy. 20% of the people happy and 80% of the people sad. So obviously I'm not dumb. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the 80% that are happy and like the series. And wanted me to go on and also share the same like idea. <laughs> I didn't believe that I died right there because I did die on these series and I did record my death so far. There were two, two previous attempts. All right. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go on here. And then he logs out and logs back in and his health has gone back up to full Mm. um so he glitched the game out and is still playing and it's hilarious okay so uh it's like i did it on purpose knowing how easy it is to do this like totally achievable action (laughs) i'd like this fellow to try and replicate what happened uh, on the mountain try and press the escape button one frame before an enemy attack try that See how intentional that is and how easy it can be pulled off. Let's go on. But um, that's like, even if you're going to be like, oh, well, he didn't technically die, but um, that's that's still an exploit. The, the devs themselves say that that's an exploit. Like, it's a, it's a game in early access. Oh, my God. There are... The devs themselves say that this is an exploit. Where? Please, sir, give me a quote, give me a video, give me something. <laughs> Since when are the devs interested in permadeath hardcore runs? And when did they start analyzing, like, frame-by-frame player deaths to catalog them as exploits? Even more, where are the devs' rules that are imposed on hardcore permadeath runs? I would love to read them. I would do, I do love to read them. So where, <laughs> where did the developers say something like that? My goodness, let's go on. 
are bugs in it, and there are unintended things that you can do. You're, you're basically get the, getting the same effect. I'm assuming you could probably get by. Oh, I I just died, but before I spawn, I'm gonna hit Alt F4, so it doesn't. What? Okay. So this man pretends to understand the mechanics of the game, which he actually doesn't. Pressing Alt F4 after you die. I've tried it many times, trust me. So pressing Alt F4 after you die will still get you dead when you log back into the game. So you will still be naked with all your items lost on these on this type of uh, difficulty, right? So what is he talking about right here? Let's go on. Um, I feel like most people would consider hitting Alt F4 cheating in the same way that uh, logging out to avoid dying is also cheating. All right, let's say you run out of power by some accident, right? So you run out of power, you have no UPS on your PC. <laughs> and you might corrupt the game or you might do something silly like that. So what do you do then? You just stop playing if you have recordings and everything because there was a the power went out. Oh my god. Anyways, first thing on video, very clear that okay. you died. Yes, okay, I died. And now we're playing with my ghost friends. We're not we're not we're not having uh we're not playing with the archer. It's the uh, ghost of the archer. We're playing with the ghost. It's a ghostly series. Uh, episode 14 of the archer series. Second thing. Uh episode 3. All right. All right. Uh, he builds a base that mm -hmm. takes 14 hours. Yeah. 90 bow skills, which yeah. takes four hours. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that doesn't add up because. What uh, doesn't add up? Episode two, it's day six. He goes and kills Ekthir, and then he comes. Episode three, builds his base, gets 90 bows. The thing is, you can see it is day 30 at the end of him getting 90 bows. Uh, okay. Which means you have 26 days. Right. A day in Valheim is at most half an hour if you're not sleeping. So if you have uh, 24 days, that's at most 12 hours. Okay. So there is not this is not there's not 18 hours of time to build your entire. <laughs> now I'm assuming maybe he's just exaggerating a bit. Okay, so let's get something straight. How do you get to this conclusion, mate? I would really love to know how is your brain functioning this way to get these conclusions. I said, hold on. Yeah, this is one of his comments. Like, uh, see, I have it on video because he deleted most of his comments, or he accused me of cheating. So he deleted. So how he deleted all his comments on this channel. So he only has this one. We only have this one left in my one of my videos. So let's go here to the video that he's talking about. So the part three, right? It says Valheim Hardcore for my death base building, fourteen hours project. So this is a fourteen hours project, right? So. Uh, in the same video, right, we're having base resource grind, bow skill grind. I never said that the base alone, does it specify here, the base alone was <laughs> required 14 hours to build? No, it doesn't say something like that. So uh, the base and the grind at the end with the archer, like this one right here, all this, right, combined with a combined time of approximately approximately 14 hours, right? Like I said, the project is comprised of me building the base, if you look here, and me grinding the bow. So all this combined, so the base took me around 10 hours to grind all the materials and build it. And I really, it was, there were two, two days, like I've played this game a lot during those two days. And my head was like hurting for, from how much volume I played and how much I grinded. So now you're going to say that uh, <laughs> basically you're splitting them. This is your decision to split these two. I've put them in one video. I said this is a combined effort of 14 hours. And now you've split them yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You just try to prove with every means possible that I'm cheating. So let's just go on here and see what, what's, what he has in store for us. On the base, as he okay. exaggerates a lot from time to time. Um, for example, in episode 13, he's like, oh, I was lost at sea for two hours. Um, but then if you watch the unedited clip where... Um, so he really studied the videos, videos, like a lot, a lot. He has the clip of, you know, I was accused of cheating in Valheim, permadeath. Right. And you can see him sail around for like 37 and a half minutes. That video is for you too, mate. So glad you watched this. 15 minutes at two and a half times speed. So okay. 
not two hours. Anyways, he exaggerated. True, that's true. Now, what you're saying here is true. Like, <laughs> I had no timer when I was recording that event when I got lost at sea. So it felt like an eternity for me. Really felt like an eternity. So I may have said two hours, I may have exaggerated there, but I did it out of frustration when in real it was only like 40 minutes. So I was playing with no timer, I, could, I didn't have a track of time. So even if I was lost for 40 minutes, um, yeah, so I did exaggerate there. Like, but how is this cheating? <laughs> what does this have to do with cheating? Okay, let's move on. It's, but like, where the heck did he get all the wood for his base? <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Okay. Um, this environment should be clear. I don't like this. Um, anyways, he, but like, you can see there's like no trees cut down around. He's just in this big clearing. I usually don't cut the trees that are immediately, immediately adjacent to my base because I like to have a bit of a landscape around the base. So I do go a bit further to cut down the trees. And this is where he built the base and he's got to get thousands of wood and probably a couple hundred core wood as well. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Where does he get it from? He doesn't have access to a cart. No. I guess he ran off and chopped wood and ran back with it. Yeah. And back and forth. With all the stone for all the stone he raised up. Like... <laughs> so you want to tell me that you have studied so diligently all of my videos to try and prove me cheating actually. And you missed the fourth episode. You missed this. Where I go and show everyone a big chunk of the forest being cut down. Dozens of tree stumps. How do you miss that, buddy? That's insane. Like, <laughs> uh, Even when I got the black forest. So look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of trees here. There were a lot of trees cut down. And we're playing with double resources. So let's go to the black forest. Even when I got to the black forest, I showed you the tree stumps in there. If I'm not mistaken, let me find it just here. Look at this. A lot of core wood tree stems that have been cut down here, here and everywhere. Basically here. Look at this. <laughs> this is why it took me so many hours because I had to go back and forth in between the uh, forest and uh, the base to bring everything. And if you look near the base, if you look around my base, you won't find any, like any, any stones that are close by because they were, they were all uh, grinded, like I said, we're playing with double resources, so you won't find any stones around the base if you're going to look around it. So this, that's how I got all the, uh, all the rocks for the, for the walls. Okay, so <laughs> this is insane. Let's move on. I, I really like this. I enjoy it. Okay. Um, hard to believe he did not just like spawn in all those resources. Okay. Um... I did. That, 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 that's definitely what happened. The more, the actually egregious example is the 90 bows. Okay. So he says about getting 90 bow skill. It took him four hours and it used about 1500 arrows. He said it took like a chest, a wooden chest and a half full of arrows. So 1500. Uh, the thing is. All right. Let's watch that together. <laughs> this is bonkers. Let's watch that together. I'm going to turn up the volume to this video. So this is when it happens. This is when I added the Outside, sequence. I'm... Okay. Please tell me where I said it only requires a chest and a half. We have two chests, by the way, full of arrows, which is 2000 right here. So let's see. I've been farming a lot of wood, getting the arrows ready so I can raise my bow skill. I'm going to need a ton of arrows for this strategy. I said a ton of arrows made. I didn't say one or 1500 arrows, so uh, I said a ton of arrows. I didn't specify the exact number. So you're, <laughs> you're just assuming that because you saw two chests outside that I prepared ahead, you're just assuming that that's all the arrows that I've used. It's not like I could have gotten back into the forest, which happened to go and get some wood and grab more arrows. So when I run out of these arrows, it's not like I went for more. It's just, yeah, I, it, it only takes 1,500. Like, <laughs> I never said that. So I said, again, a ton of arrows. I didn't specify the number. A ton of arrows for this strategy. Yeah, there we go. So make sure you find a burial chamber with a spawner. And then stay right here near the entrance by this rock and start spamming arrows, normal arrows on the skeletons, but shoot fast. Don't let the circle 
All right, get narrow. So you don't deal that much damage. You just need the experience. There. Four hours later, I've been really tired. We managed to raise the bow skills to level 90. But yeah, this kind of took me like four hours. So I'm not sure it was worth it. <laughs> so there you have it. Where did I say 1500 arrows? Where did I even say something like this? Okay, let's go on. Uh, 90 bows takes 15,000 XP to get to. And you get 1.5 XP per successful hit. No matter what you're hitting, as long as it's an enemy. Um, okay, now he's going to give you the uh, math for the experience, right? This is, can be easily calculated with, even with the chat GPT, you can calculate this. Or if you're good at math, you can do it yourself. XP, which would be 10,000 shots, 10,000 arrows. Meaning. Now, if you're... Not really. That goes down a little bit because yeah, percent XP buff. So I'm I'm assuming he's rested this whole time. That would still be 6,700 arrows that he needs, not 1,500. Very large glaring error there. Now the thing is also of course it's an error. If you <laughs> if you assume that those are all, all the errors that I've used, which I didn't say that those were all the errors that I've used, you just assume that. But okay, let's go on. Ironically, it would only take him like. 90 minutes to actually shoot all those arrows? 90 minutes to shoot all those arrows. Okay, so one hour and a half to shoot all those arrows. How much time to get back and forth from the spawner to that spot where, I, where I'm in the video to make sure you only have uh, melee skeleton archers and uh, melee skeletons or and not skeleton archers, right? How, many, how much time? He actually thinks that I just stood still there with the bow <laughs> forever. Well, monsters just spawn and conveniently came there and I just kept spawning and spawning arrows and shooting arrows at them. So, <laughs> this is insane, like I said, this is super fun. Um, more, obviously, if he had to go back and harvest more wood to create more arrows, but he doesn't say that. He says he's got all the arrows here in these two chests and he goes and he shoots them all. And he's... Where did you hear me? Let's go back. Where did you hear me here saying that I have all the arrows in the chests? So let's just go back, back to this. And this is what I've been doing outside. I've been farming a lot of wood, getting the arrows ready so I can raise my bow skill. You're gonna need a ton of arrows for this strategy. Where did I say that? Uh, <laughs> I have all the arrows required for this in the chests. That's made up again. It just makes presumptions about things that I didn't say. It's good to go. Okay. Um, Let's go on. It's taken less time than that, and it would have used five times as many arrows because also if you miss any. How do you miss arrows when you shoot enemies three feet or one meter away from you? How do you miss them? Okay, let's go on. <laughs> like, you're probably going to need 7,500 arrows or so. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, wrong on wrong on all counts. There. Yes, I'm wrong on all accounts. Of course I'm wrong. Of course. Let's, let's go on. Um... I'm wrong. Uh, and then what else was I going to say about that? I was going to say something. What else? Tell me. I forgot that. Teach me. Educate me. One. Cut. And I'm going to forget. Oh. Right here. Boom. Um, you can also see in the video he eats two food. So he's got like a stack of 12, stack of 12, stack of 16. And when he... Okay. Let's just check that out. So this is the food that I have right here. And at the end of it, I think about here, it's I don't know. Level 90. Hold on. Around here. Or no, wait. Is it here? Is it here? Yeah. Now he's talking about this. The fact that uh, I have different things in my inventory from uh, one instance to the other. Like I have more arrows. I have a lot of uh, bones in here. Um, different food, of course. So it's not going to be 12, 12, 16, which was there. And I also eat food every single uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes. I don't know how much time it elapses between these two. I think 10 minutes. Right, yeah, 10 minutes. So I eat food every single 10 minutes. Even if it's like you said, if I spent 30, uh, 30 minutes in here, it should have been more. But it's obviously that I went back and forth to the base to grab more food. It's not like I could have done this. This is not food for four hours. So <laughs> this is food for like mostly... I don't know, I don't want to calculate everything, but mostly two hours, not even that. I don't think that's two hours worth of food right here, if, at the rate that I'm eating the food. 
<laughs> oh my god, oh my god. So this is really this is really fun. Let's go on. He's done, it's a stack of ten, stack of ten, stack of fourteen. That's how you that's how you tell that I'm cheating because the food is uh I've lost two food there instead of what he, I think he wanted me to see he wanted to see me with no food at the end of the video right here that would have been more convincing for him okay it seems very obvious how do you pick up on those things shooting however many arrows and then just level it up to 90 okay seems like it um, don't know what other explanation there is because he did not have nearly enough arrows he has said it took him about 1500 arrows when it would have taken him again Check the video, like I've shown you. I never said that. At least 7,000. You're just saying that I said that, but I never did, actually. So, glaring issue there. And that's not just like, oh, I was slightly off on the numbers. That's like, no, that's that's wrong. That's completely wrong. Uh, and then the last one mm. is the most egregious. Uh, so I, I like that he thinks that the last one is the most outrageous, if that's what he said. Let's see. So 14. For me, this one with the arrows is the most outrageous one. How do you get to that that uh, math that you just did there? By making presumptions, like accusations based, based on the fact that you th believe some things have happened when they actually didn't. And you're accusing me of things that I said. And there's the video, the proof that I actually didn't say those things. So how do you get, <laughs> how do you get to those? How do you get to those things? Oh my goodness. Right. Okay, let's let's just go on. He goes to find motor. Yes, I do. Uh, and he goes off and he starts heading southeast to this island he was at uh, back in episode 12. Okay. So he heads down here, following this dotted line here, um, and knows it's not here, so he's sailing around, um, stops here, because he can't see the island. It's, it's really dark out. Yeah, I was really scared there because there was a lot of fog and darkness and I couldn't see where I was going. Right, so I didn't want to venture myself in the open ocean without knowing or seeing another island. So this is why how I navigate. Right, I'm navigating from one island to the other. So let's go on. I don't know how the heck he's navigating in the rain and everything, because he. Okay, the way I'm navigating is by using a hand-drawn map. I'm gonna show you the map right here. So I've marked all the islands that I've spotted while sailing. So I know which ones I have been to and which ones I haven't. I also lose some of the island's natural landmark, like I've explained in several videos. Are you sure there's like a couple of different methods that you can use when you don't have a map? He's not using anything. He's literally just like looking for it. You can watch video. What are these couple of methods that I can use? Please teach me. Navigating using the giant tree branch or using the sun? That's how you get lost and die in, in hardcore. <laughs> okay. That he's not using any of these methods to navigate. Don't know how he's navigating anyway so he stops here with a drone map mate comes over it's super easy it's basically what you have here with less details this island checks out this island sees that motor isn't there he says okay well let's go this way i i see the the motor trajectory was pointing this way right so i was i was actually on on one of the trajectories for the motor altar i was right going from the island to island so this is a really good strategy you can use going from island to island check them all to see and one of them eventually will have motor if it's on the right trajectory because the motor can only be on the mountain so we came from this way it was pointing this way so we're going to keep going this way okay so he continues around um what he's referring to is the 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 vegvisir on this mountain by base all right um, which is the only one in any any kind of close by except for on the mountain that has motor like there's a few there but this is the only one so this is what he's going off of to say, okay, so it's pointing down this way. Okay. So I'm going to keep going this way. Let's check out this island. Okay, yeah, you already said it. Let's go on. Okay. Still pointing this way. Let's go check out the next island. Goes here. Mm. Right there. Right? Yes. The issue is... What's the issue? Um, this is not the motor that that Vegvisir points to. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Well, I'll show you that right now. Okay, please, let's show me, show me. Negative 630, I have this in here. Please show me. Let's go check it out. Let's, see what happens. let's go. I'm gonna skip this because it takes forever. I am freezing. All right, so this is the one he comes up to. Yeah, you should use a freezing potion, mate. Uh, in episode 12. 
frost resistance mean? this, and he sees it. And so when you're when you're playing without a map, it doesn't pop up on the map, obviously. But you hit it, and it points you off in the right direction. Right? Okay. Whoop. Yeah. Um, so Whoop. That. Okay. And lo and behold, the motor it points at is not the motor he goes to. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Uh, there's this one, southeast, that he goes to and kills. Uh, and Okay, let's go. Let me find it. I think it's this one. Let's go right here. Where I actually discovered the altar. Watch closely what happens, please. So I'm going to pause this a dozen times. Let's watch what happens. Look where the first trajectory is. Keep in mind that the north of the map, like the the way I have it here, drawn on my map, is behind me at this point, right? So the north is behind me and facing south at this moment. There. So it's pointing me, the first time it pointed me, it pointed me south to the actual altar that I went to. And then when I pressed it again, it pointed me to a different mother altar, which his, which is the one he's referring to there, and keeps pointing me to the second one now, because the second one is closer. But you're always going to get all the altars if you keep pressing the uh, the stone. If you're playing with no map, you're going to get all the altars, right? All the altar directions, and they're going to keep pointing you towards the closest one at the end. But at the first, as you can see here, again, look at this. I'm not going to stop it. The video pen stops right there. And as you can see, on the top left corner, this will start to fade out because it says new new app, new uh, map location, modder. Fades out, right? Because it just, I just, <laughs> it just showed me the modder altar a few seconds ago, right there. This, this is the modder altar. So it's pointing me in a southeast-ish direction, southeast. Where the second time it points points me towards uh, an east, towards only the east direction, right? So it points me toward the east, second time. So first time, I and at that moment I knew. So I had two altars. I had one into one direction and one in another direction, and I went, I I went and drawn the map, the lines. So on my map I drawn a line from the middle of my base, out on the uh, on the paper, right? So I kept drawing that line. Till I ran out of paper, so I know the approximate trajectory that I need to use. And you will—the um, only reason why I went for the second, the first one, which is that one that's shown right here. So the only reason why I went for the first, uh, for the first, first altar, for the first motor altar, this one, is because when I tried to go for the, the one that's close by, the one that I wanted to go, I saw. Let's go on his map. There. So I went this way, and I saw no no island here. So it was an open ocean right here and I couldn't see no island and I didn't want to venture myself into open ocean. This is how I played this game. I never venture myself into an open ocean, not knowing the trajectory I'm going. I'm always going, if you look closely on his map right here. Uh, so I'm only going from island to island. I'm hopping up like a bunny from island to island. If I went, had went this way to the modder, like if you see, this is a no-go because I had no ocean. So I was looking this direction, I said, no, that's no ocean, so we're going to go to the second altar right here. Now, this is only ocean, I couldn't see no island right here, there is no island right here, it's full ocean, as you can see from here. So, because uh, this is the elder area, right? So this is uh, this is where I had the, uh, the elder fight. So it was full ocean up until the elder island, so I knew that the mother isn't on the elder island, because I've been there. So I was like, let's go, let's go to a different trajectory because I got two altars. So let's go this way. Okay. And this one, northeast, is the one it's actually pointing at. So it's it, pointing at that one the second time. First time it pointed me towards the one that I went to. It points at it, right? It's pointing northeast. Okay. Which again, he sucks at navigating. So like, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I suck at navigating with no map. This is rich coming from a guy who has really proven us that he excels at hardcore permadeath. No map sailing. So it's off in that direction. Okay. Cool. And then goes off and does whatever else. Right. Um, but, like, this is the only other motor. No, there's another one. Any kind of 
close you've by. said it one other one, yeah think, you say that's another one right there and that's it so he very very obviously is looking at the map to figure out where to go um, of course i'm looking at the map to figure out where i go i have a i have a drawn map <laughs> and even if you look at the map it still takes you a lot of skill to actually pinpoint every single island and direction without having the actual in-game map showing you exactly where you are. Then, looking back, you can see, wow, he, he went to go find... So, again, I have a drawn map with my pencil here, right here. I have a map that's drawn with my pen or pencil. Right, so... Um, I'm looking at that and it's super easy to navigate. Even if I don't get all the islands, like, as you can see, all the islands' uh, shapes right. But I know there are uh, locations. So at nine and he's like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna go north we haven't been north oh let's just go north he just sails along here i like how he tries to impersonate me i know i have a high pinched voice but it's not that high like beep, 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 beep. i'm not doing this <laughs> okay this weird thing going in between these islands and comes up right on the little section of swamp with bone again from my main island i've spotted another set of islands and another large set of islands right so, uh, what you expect? What would you expect from me to go straight north like you did here in a flat line? This is dumb. This is silly. This is how you die in this game. You don't get. St <laughs> oh my god! You don't go in a straight line without having no orientation, no islands nearby, no nothing to guide you. That's 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 impossible. I would I would have never done something like this. So north for me means north from my base. That means north from uh, going with, with the coastline here, as you can see. Right, and I'm following, I'm keep going north, at this point is northwest, toward this direction, without knowing that I'm going northwest at this point. I see a large swamp, and of course I'm going to build an outpost, because I see it's a large swamp. A lot of potential to get the iron from here, and maybe find a Vegasevere for uh, the bone mass. But uh, in my four years of Valheim, it happened a lot of times to me to find bone mass in large swamps. You can even find it in smaller ones sometimes, but they usually spawn in the altar, uh, spawns in uh, very large swamps. So that happens a lot of time to me. So you can stumble upon it, it's not that much of a big deal like he's making a, this one to be. Like if he's actually going north, there are sections over here that have swamp and swamp. That's not north right here, friend. That's again, that's northeast. But he just happens right onto the weird little section. There's swamp over here. I would never settle for a swamp that looks like this. That's really small. Happens right on the weird little section that has bone mass on it. Okay. It's crazy. Instantly builds a. Oh, of course, it's crazy. It's... I see a map. I, I see a large swamp. It's crazy. Why did you stop there? <laughs> of course. Okay. Starts doing stuff. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. His bone mass is right there. Like, um, and that. Yeah. Anyways, that's the three. I was right. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Three examples there. It's okay. It's very obvious that he's cheating and lying. No, I'm cheating and lying now. Okay. Well, a lot of things. Okay. There. Um, my my next guess of where he's going is gonna be based on the fact that he just moved his. So keep in mind that this is recorded around two weeks ago, before we went to the plains. Older here. Um, and I, I feel like he did that because Yagloth is relatively close by, and now he's just going to happen upon Yagloth. Because uh, Yagloth is hard to find when there's no... He wanted to say something about one of my kills here in the 8th episode. I don't know which one is, because he marks his uh, his things on the maps. Like, he has notes on his map. So he has base, kill... Oh, right, so no, the Elder. I think it means the Elder, right? Oh, Vic Vasir's randomly out and about. So now he's kind of close by, and he's just going to happen upon it. Yagloth is relatively close by. I spent hours, like literally, literally hours. We had three episodes before finding the stone in the plains. And I still haven't found his altar. I just found his stone. So we will re really require another one episode. So four episodes in total. And he's just, this guy, <laughs> this guy is just, Yagloth is relatively close by. And I'm going to stumble upon him by mistake. So this, this is what he actually wants to believe. Because he, like I said, he, he, his mindset at this point is just to accuse me, just to prove me that I'm cheating, that I'm being dishonest towards everyone. So <laughs> another thing he said, Yagloth is hard to find. Hold on. 
couple big Vasiers randomly out and about. So now he's kind of close by and he's just going to happen upon it. No. Right. Now he's just going to happen. And I I feel like he did that because Yagolith is relatively close by and now he's just going to happen upon it. Okay. Because uh, Yagolith is hard to find when there's no... Yes, he says, Yagolith is hard to find. <laughs> I'm sure no Valheim players have ever spotted the very large, hand-like structures from a boat while sailing near the plains. It's super hard to spot or to... Uh, yeah, to see basically. Oh my goodness, you can see that altar from miles away, the Yagleth altar, and you can find it by a mistake so easy. It's the easiest altar you can find. So the uh, Yagleth altar is the easiest you can find even by sailing around planes. Like Vasir's randomly out and about. So now he's kind of close by and he's just going to happen upon it in the next couple episodes, is my bet. But I don't know what the heck he's going to do when he gets to the queen, because there is not a queen nearby. Okay, so this is this is spoiler. <laughs> so he just let me know that there is no queen nearby. So my plan was okay. Well, let's listen to him. And he has like no method of actually navigating well. So I have no method of actually navigating well. Okay. So he says that I'm a really bad sailor. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's not like right here I'm super far away from my base, close to the edge of the world right here where I fought the mother, right? So if I'm going south from here, it's not like I'm going to end up in, uh, eventually, in Mistlands. So if I follow back the trail to the mother altar and go south from here, eventually, obviously, I'm going to land up in the, uh, in the Mistlands. So no way, friends, that makes no sense. What do I know? I'm not smart enough. Right. So it just, uh, she just gave me a, a huge tip. There is no queen nearby. That means no queen nearby this area. So the queen might be somewhere else around the map. Doesn't matter. We're going to sail to where it is. I'm going to draw my lines and everything else. Let's see. Uh, I have no idea how he's going to spin that. I'm assuming he's not going to get that far. If we're being on. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to get that far. I thought I'm not going to get that far either. So we're right. Uh, we're, we're, we're both agreeing on that account. Honest. Um, as in like he's going to stop. Not that he's going to, you know accidentally die because i i really doubt that he's letting it into the video if he accidentally died oh my god i really doubt that he's letting it into the video that he actually dies what is this friend please let me know what is this oh no that's no death uh what happened here please Tell me what happened here. My friend, you have done a really bad homework here, like I just did there. <laughs> so, uh, a horrendous homework. Have you completely missed these two attempts where I actually died? Let me go back. Let's get this one. So, have you really missed this video? And this video from the previous runs where I recorded my deaths and I died and when I died, when I died, it happened. So I recorded it. Have you really missed these two? He's like, I'm not going to put it into the videos when I die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Anywho, that's pretty much it for me. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I think that covers everything. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Wanted to point that out for the two people who are going to watch this and care. Because, <laughs> I mean, most people I don't think are going to care. Most people, like 80% of the people watching his video are just like, Oh yeah, you died, but it's okay. It's fine. Continue on. You're good. Like, as he's like, no, no, I didn't die. It, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, anyways, I don't, I don't expect this to make any kind of difference. Um, mm. I also am curious if this actually does get around. Like, if he sees this. I am watching this, yeah. Expecting a response of like... <laughs> You know, this isn't really cheating, or he's just not going to address it. I just give you my entire reply. <laughs> With proofs from my video, I'm gonna, I, I, I showed you video proofs from my clips, from my recordings, that you are wrong on your accusations, on every single one of them. Only you're, the, only right th the only thing you're right about is when I uh, actually exaggerated with the two hours of being lost, which was 40 minutes. Well, like I said, I exaggerated out of uh, frustration right there. So how is that's not cheating? I just exaggerated on uh, on a uh, on the time there, right? 
So uh, you won't get any replies from me on your channel. The only thing I said it's it's <laughs> it's gonna be a detailed reply, right, on uh, on on our channel here. So um, yeah, we we've, we've shared this. I've had my part of fun. I hope you've had some fun too. So given everything we've uh, discussed, you should, Mr. Aaron Divis, you should start a hardcore permadeath run and show me how it's done, how it's played properly. And I will promise you that I will totally watch every single one of, of your episodes. Okay. That's, you know... In the world where he does respond to this, I'm, I'm expecting something where it's like, well, looking at the map outside on, on the Valheim map thing, that's not cheating, because I don't have... He's so sure about everything he says, without even actually checking all of my videos properly. He's so sure about himself that, uh, oh my god, he's so cocky. I like it. Map in the game. So, uh, that's fine. It's fine that I'm looking to see where everything is at and just kind of following it on here because I didn't say I wasn't going to do that. Just like I didn't say I wasn't going to hit escape. Okay, so at this point of the video, he's just, um, he's just rambling about, uh, he's just making some sort of a conclusion here. So, I'm going to do the same to wrap things up. This was fun to me. I got a cool debate with somebody who wants to impose rules on my playthrough, with somebody who shares with us uh, made-up numbers with somebody who can't distinguish two directions. So uh, yeah, that was it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day or night or both. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video of our adventure. Bye bye.